Pakistan's nuclear journey began in response to regional security concerns. The 1971 war with India, resulting in the loss of East Pakistan, deeply impacted the nation. Key figures like Dr. A. Q. Khan spearheaded early efforts in uranium enrichment. The 1998 nuclear tests at Chagai marked a watershed moment. The Shaheen series of ballistic missiles holds prominence. Shaheen II, inducted in 2004, represents a significant leap in missile technology. It stands as a testament to Pakistan's resolve and pursuit of strategic autonomy. The Shaheen II, with its sleek design and impressive capabilities, represents the cutting edge of Pakistan's missile technology. It possesses a range of up to 2,500 kilometers, enabling it to target locations across significant distances. This range provides Pakistan with strategic depth and the ability to respond to threats emanating from various points. Equipped with a sophisticated guidance system, the Shaheen II boasts high accuracy. This precision ensures that the missile can effectively engage its intended targets, minimizing collateral damage. The accuracy of the Shaheen II is a testament to the advancements made by Pakistani engineers in the fields of navigation and control systems. Moreover, the Shaheen II can carry a variety of payloads, including conventional and nuclear warheads. This flexibility enhances its deterrent value, providing Pakistan with a range of response options depending on the nature of the threat. The ability to deliver different types of payloads makes the Shaheen II a versatile asset in Pakistan's military arsenal. The missile's solid fuel propellant contributes to its quick reaction time and ease of deployment. Unlike liquid-fueled missiles, which require extensive pre-launch preparations, solid-fueled missiles like the Shaheen II can be launched on short notice. This capability is crucial in enhancing Pakistan's deterrent posture as it reduces the response time to potential threats. Pakistan's nuclear doctrine is deeply rooted in the concept of credible minimum deterrence. This doctrine emphasizes the possession of a nuclear arsenal solely for the purpose of deterring aggression, particularly from its larger neighbor India. The Shaheen II missile plays a vital role in upholding this doctrine. By possessing the capability to strike targets deep within the adversary's territory, Shaheen II establishes a credible deterrent threat. It effectively raises the cost of any potential aggression against Pakistan. The missile's existence ensures that any hostile action against Pakistan would be met with a swift and devastating response. This balance of power is crucial for maintaining regional stability. The Shaheen II, as a key component of Pakistan's nuclear deterrent, discourages any adventurism by adversaries and promotes a sense of strategic equilibrium in the region. By ensuring that any potential aggressor understands the consequences of their actions, the Shaheen II contributes to a more secure and stable environment. Furthermore, the Shaheen II's existence compels other nuclear-armed states to engage in responsible behavior. It serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of nuclear escalation. In this way, the missile indirectly contributes to global non-proliferation efforts by promoting a sense of caution and restraint among nuclear-armed nations. Pakistan regularly conducts missile tests, including those of the Shaheen II. These tests are not merely displays of military might, they serve crucial purposes in ensuring the operational readiness of the country's strategic forces. Through these tests, Pakistani defense personnel gain valuable experience in handling, deploying and launching these sophisticated weapon systems. These launches also provide an opportunity to validate and refine the technical parameters of the missiles. Data collected during these tests helps in fine-tuning the accuracy, trajectory and range of the Shaheen II, further enhancing its effectiveness. The continuous testing and evaluation of the missile system ensure that it remains a reliable and formidable deterrent. Moreover, these tests serve as a deterrent in their own right. They send a clear message to any potential adversaries that Pakistan's armed forces are vigilant, prepared, and possess the capability to defend the nation's sovereignty. The regular demonstration of these capabilities reinforces the credibility of Pakistan's nuclear deterrent. The training exercises associated with these launches are equally important. They provide Pakistani personnel with the necessary skills and expertise to handle any potential crisis involving these strategic assets. 
the rigorous training ensures that Pakistan's nuclear forces remain professional, disciplined and capable of executing their mission with precision and safety.